What's up guys, Jake Berlin here. Get ready because Avengers Infinity War is now just a few weeks away. The monster Marvel movie is now on the horizon and we are so excited here at Apocalypse Movies in anticipation for the big giant blockbuster of every Marvel character ever. We have to decided to put an entire list of MCU movies ranked by a certain number together. Now, the way it works is we have put together our personal list we have brought them together by a point system. The point system works as follows. The first movie on our list gets 18 points because there are 18 movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The 18th movie gets one point. Everything in between kind of counteracts itself. We add that together. Highest points are at the top, low points at the bottom. This is not us saying that one movie is horrible and one movie is better than the most. This is what we got together with all of our lists combined. We wanted to do separate videos for you, kind of breaking them down, reacting, and kind of revisiting all of these movies because we have been through a monster journey of 10 years of Marvel movies. Um, now we're going to try and release six a week leading up, and that week of Infinity War we're going to release a number of different videos for the movie. We are so excited, we hope you enjoy these videos, and again, don't hate us for ranking these videos differently, but enjoy them at the same time. So, Benedict Cumberbatch is Doctor Strange. Everybody was so excited when this casting got announced. Um, even though some of us may have wanted Walking Phoenix, I think Cumberbatch was a great casting. People have been throwing his name around in the nerd circles for years before this. Cast him for everything. But I think he finally found a great role. Doctor Strange is an important character and you need a great actor and an actor who commands presence on the screen and I, th I think Cumberbatch does that and he does it very well. Benedict Cumberbatch is one of the great actors working today. He's been in a number of great films. He's been uh, working fantastic as Sherlock on the Sherlock TV series for BBC. Uh, what he does as an actor in different roles is phenomenal. I was not high on him as Doctor Strange when he got cast because I thought it was too simple. I thought it was too easy and just kind of a way to get people in the seat because he's a big name. I wanted to see someone completely out of left field, just different uh, from the normal Marvel casting. Would I have still liked to have seen that? Yes, but at the end of the day, Cumberbatch is fantastic as the character. Personally, when Benedict Cumberbatch was named Doctor Strange, I was jumping up and down. I This is what I wanted. This is who I wanted to play him. And, you know, he does not disappoint. This movie was crazy. I didn't expect this movie to be as action-oriented as it was, especially a lot of them, a lot of martial arts uh, fight scenes. Uh, it's not something that you would, I expected from Doctor Strange, who's a character that, uh, comic that I, I got into a lot um, in my younger days. Um, yeah, this movie had a lot of action in it, a lot more, oh, more than I thought there would be. When we were first seeing these trailers for Doctor Strange, it looked like Inception on steroids. Like this movie, the way it was using special effects, the action with the kind of mystical arts and, and whatnot going on with these characters, it was so mind-blowing the fact that this was in a Marvel movie. It it felt like a, an Inception superhero movie. Inception is one of my favorite movies of all time. This movie, I remember sitting down and watching this movie. Unfortunately, it was in 3D. I'm not a fan of 3D, but I remember sitting down and watching this in IMAX. And I got dizzy in the first sequence because of all the buildings and just things moving around. And you think that that's a bad thing, but that's really a good thing because it's so different in a Marvel movie. So the villains in this movie, they're, they're question marks for me, just like most of the MCU villains. I think uh, Kaecilius is the villain's name, and then we have Dormammu. Even though Dormammu's barely in it, they used him pretty cleverly, but he wasn't enough of a presence in the film, like actually physically seeing him on screen for him to have a big enough impact. But when you see Mads Mikkelsen as Kaecilius the villain, you expect something big and brooding and just, you know, not violent, but just dark and kind of, you know, very villainous, obviously. Um, did it happen as much as we wanted it to? Maybe not, uh, but I don't 
not like it as much as other people. I was okay with it because he was ultimately just a pawn to Dormammu at the end of the movie. He was basically going about what Dormammu was saying. He was do everything, doing everything for that character. Everyone just went nuts over this one. I thought it was a great call, Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One. Uh, I really, I like that. That's a very different casting, and she's a, she's a unique actress. She can do a lot. She can do just about anything. And so people complained about it, that the ancient one, the ancient one is supposed to be an old uh, Asian man from, not necessarily, and the reason, uh, I like the reason that they went away from that and made, her, made the ancient one a woman who could just also be, well, ancient, and as wise as the Ancient One is supposed to be, and she portrayed that very well. I, I liked Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One a lot. Well, I guess I'll just have to stick with Nick. Oh, wait a minute. You're not. You guys aren't. What? Sleeping together. Sorry, I thought that was implicit in my disgust. As, as explicit, actually, and no, I have a very strict rule against dating comments. Oh, really? I'll call it the strange comments. Oh, well, good. I'm glad something's made. So the Christine character, played by Rachel McAdams, I did like her in Doctor Strange's dynamic. I like how it's a past romance, and now they're not together anymore. They're kind of friends, uh, colleagues, if you will. And we haven't really seen that in an MC movie where characters used to date and now they're not, and they have to continue to be a part of each other's lives. I think the love aspect is a little bit overplayed when it comes to these characters. Seeing Rachel McAdams and Benedict Cumberbatch's characters not have a love aspect in the movie they've had it in the past a little bit kind of was a nice little stray away from the typical thor jane foster tony stark pepper Potts that we expect to kind of see out of these movies i liked what they i actually like what they did with the mortal character a lot of people uh did not a lot of people did not like that his turn i thought uh again i people know that he's kind of he's Joker. Uh, he's kind of Doctor Strange's Joker. Um, he's like his number one, probably his number one villain, his number, number one rival. And uh, uh, they did kind of a, cla a classic kind of a tropey thing where they start them off as friends and then, because uh, we don't get that in the comics, they, they don't like each other at all right from the get. Um, well, Mortal doesn't like him uh, because he gets passed over and chosen as the, uh, the Sorcerer Supreme and he feels like it should have been him. Um, so I like what they did, and I think that, you know, they alluded to, the Ancient One alluded to his, his anger, his broken, his broken past. Um, I think in the next movie that we see him in, we'll get more into it, and a little bit more, uh, why he makes this turn. But, I just, I like, I actually, I liked it, because, you know, everything he, he's been brought up believing, he feels like is false. And I think it worked well as a post credit scene. I think if, it, if we had seen it in a movie... Uh, I don't know if it would have worked as well because it kind of came out of nowhere, I agree. Um, but I like the turn, I, and I can't wait to see what they do with it. I think it's kind of cool to see where things start to change in the MCU. I believe, in my opinion, this is the movie that really started the change and the direction towards the new phase that we're going to be getting after the Infinity Wars and Avenger 4 movies. Um, I think that this movie kind of gives us a little taste of what to expect in the crazy new worlds we might come across, the new powers, the magic aspect that we can look forward to into the future. I am much more excited for more Doctor Strange. I I was excited about Doctor Strange just when they, they mentioned him in passing in uh, Winter Soldier back in, way back in 2014. I jumped out of my seat. Stephen Strange, all right. So the, I love Doctor Strange. I'm a big Doctor Strange fan. I can't wait to see more. More Doctor Strange, the better. So I can't wait to see what he does in Infinity War.